Welcome to the DataKey Virtual Trade Show booth. My name is Paul Plitzewhite. I'm the Senior Product Manager for the DataKey line of rugged, portable memory products. In this brief video, you will learn about the DataKey product line and why engineers and designers choose to design these portable memory products into their embedded systems. Simply put, DataKey products start out using industry standard non-volatile memory ICs. Each IC is soldered to a PCB with a set of high cycle life gold plated contacts. This PCB assembly is then solid over molded into one of our proprietary form factors. Because DataKey portable memory products use these proprietary shapes, we also offer a variety of mating receptacles for each form factor. So in summary, DataKey portable memory products use industry standard memory are solid over molded into one of our proprietary form factors, which mate with data key high performance receptacles. Incidentally, because we use industry standard memory and we control the form factor, we are able to offer products with extremely long product life cycles, measured in decades rather than years. Next, I would like to give you a quick overview of our three main product families. First is the DataKey Serial Memory family. Serial memory products are offered with either Serial EEPROM or Serial NOR flash memory. Our EEPROM based products are available in capacities from 1 kilobit to 512 kilobits. Serial interface options include SPI, I2C, and MicroWire. Our NOR flash based products are available in capacities from 2 megabits to 64 megabits and have an SPI serial interface. DataKey EEPROM based memory devices are available in all five of our form factors. From left to right, we have our key form factor. Incidentally, this is how DataKey got its name. It is literally data on a key. Next up is our slimline token form factor. This token is a little smaller than an SD card in footprint but unlike an SD card, these tokens feature redundant contacts, so you can't put it in upside down. Next is our extended length slimline token form factor. It uses the same redundant contact system, but has extra length for those applications that need it, like when the operator may be wearing thick gloves. This form factor also has the option to replace the data key logo with an OEM logo. Next up is our plug token form factor. This form factor is ideal for high vibration applications as the token locks into the receptacle. The plug form factor also has the unique ability to be flush mounted so that neither the receptacle nor the token protrude from the front of the panel, which is nice for portable applications where the unit could be dropped. Finally, we have our bar token form factor. The bar is our most robust portable memory system. It has undergone a barrage of MIL standard 810 environmental tests and has been used in a variety of defense applications. As you look at each form factor, you may have noticed that each has a variety of receptacle options. Typically, we offer both panel mount and board mount versions. Here is just a sampling of the panel mount and board mount options for our slimline and extended length slimline token products. The receptacle page from the DataKey brochure, which can be downloaded from the DataKey website, gives a nice overview of the receptacle options available for each form factor. For each receptacle grouping, you will notice an icon showing which form factor the receptacles are used with. On the portable memory products page of the brochure, You'll notice the product families and the icons showing which form factors are available for each product family. For the EEPROM based serial memory products, you'll see that all five form factors are available. For the NOR flash based serial memory products, the available form factors are the key, the slimline token, and the extended length slimline token. When integrating a data key serial memory token into an embedded design, it's really a straightforward process. The lines from the receptacle 
simply run to an SPI or I2C port on the microcontroller. Each memory device and receptacle also have a special contact that is used to detect when a token has been inserted or removed from the receptacle. This is called the LOFO line, which stands for last on, first off. In a serial memory token, for example, this LOFO line is internally tied to ground. The LOFO line from the receptacle is typically tied into an interrupt line on the processor. So when the token is inserted, the line is pulled low and an interrupt is triggered. Once the memory token is detected, power is applied and communications can begin. At this point, communicating with the inserted memory token is no different than communicating with an equivalent EEPROM that is soldered to the board. We've covered how an embedded microcontroller will communicate with a data key memory token, but you may be wondering whether a PC can be used to program or read data off of a memory token. For that purpose, we offer programmers. Here I have the Slimlink 3 Universal Programmer. It has a USB connector to tie it back to the PC, and the other end has a receptacle for the memory token. It is called a Universal Programmer because each programmer can be configured to communicate with any of our EEPROM or NORFLASH based devices. Windows drivers and sample applications are included with each programmer. We also offer development kits that include the source code and project files that demonstrate each function that is included in our DLL. Data key portable memory products are offered with a range of security features. The most basic of these security features is the proprietary form factors. This means that standard memory products like SD cards and USB flash drives can't plug into data key receptacles. Likewise, data key keys and memory tokens can't plug into standard connectors that you find on a PC or mobile device. On top of that, data key products have controlled availability. What do I mean by that? This means that data key products cannot be purchased online. They can only be purchased directly from ATEC or by one of our international distributors. And we only sell to our qualified OEMs or their contract manufacturers. For some applications, this combination of unique form factor and controlled availability is sufficient. However, for other applications requiring more robust security, we offer our secure memory products. The next product family in the data key line of portable memory products is the secure memory family. The secure memory family features data key crypto authentication memory tokens. These tokens take Microchip's well-known SHA-204 and ECC-608 crypto authentication ICs and make them portable and extremely rugged. Data key crypto authentication memory tokens are offered in memory capacities of 4.5 kilobits or 10.5 kilobits. The tokens have an I2C serial interface and come with a host of security features, including a unique non-changeable serial number, segmented memory slots that can be configured for read-only or read-write access in either clear or encrypted modes, one-way permanent counters that are great for usage tracking, and support for symmetric and asymmetric algorithms. Both the SHA-204 and ECC-608 ICs are available in the slimline token and extended link slimline token form factors. It should be mentioned that data key programmers like the Slimlink 3 do not communicate with the crypto authentication memory tokens. Instead, we recommend developers acquire Microchip's crypto authentication SOIC X Pro starter kit that includes the AT SAM D21 X Pro development board that you see here. To go along with this starter kit, we have produced two extension boards that plug into the development board's extension ports. The first extension board features the right angle SR4210 PCB slimline receptacle. The second extension board features the vertical SR4220 
VRT receptacle. Both extension boards include a vertical header that can be used to connect a panel mount slimline receptacle. The DataKey website has an application note and downloadable firmware for this development board. The project demonstrates how to use the token detection line on the extension board with an interrupt to detect when a token has been inserted into or removed from the receptacle. The final data key product family we'll cover is the rugged drive line. The rugged drive line consists of two main types of memory tokens. The UFX token, shown here in gray, provides USB flash drive functionality, but does so in our proprietary rugged drive token form factor. The DFX token, shown here in black, provides SD card functionality, again in our proprietary more robust form factor. Both are available in capacities ranging from 4 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes. So why would designers choose to use a rugged drive token over a traditional USB stick or SD card in their embedded design? Based on the name, you might guess that it would be because their applications required a more rugged and robust solution. And you would be right. The rugged drive tokens use solid over molded construction, making them physically very robust. There are no voids where water can leak in or areas that can get crushed. Additionally, if you have an application that will require a high number of insertion removal cycles, a rugged drive solution would likely be a better choice. Many USB connectors are only rated for 1500 insertion removal cycles. If your application will see 10 insertion removal cycles per day, it will take only five months to potentially wear out that USB connector. Data key slimline receptacles, on the other hand, are rated at 50,000 insertion removal cycles. At that same 10 cycle per day rate, it would take nearly 14 years to hit 50,000 cycles. Of course, another benefit is that rugged drive tokens have redundant contacts, meaning you can't insert a rugged drive token in upside down. That's obviously not the case with USB flash drives and SD cards. But while the added ruggedness is nice, I have found that most often it is the non-standard form factor that is the reason a rugged drive token is chosen for an embedded design. For some applications, Designers really want an SD card or USB flash drive. They just don't want it to look like an SD card or a USB flash drive. When using a standard SD card or USB flash drive, theft might also be a concern, as these devices can be used in a wide variety of consumer applications. This is not the case with a rugged drive token. It simply won't plug into common consumer connectors. With these common USB and SD card connectors, there is also a lack of control as to which devices an end user might insert into one of these connectors. So there are the potential compatibility concerns, not only supporting devices from various manufacturers going back in time, but you also have the concern about supporting future models that will come out in the years to come and will use the same connector. The proprietary rugged drive form factor eliminates these concerns. I want to thank you for taking the time to learn about DataKey portable memory products. If you have any questions or potential application, we would love to connect with you. Just check out the Contact Us page on the DataKey website for all the ways to connect.